Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use filing cabinets, and then how to combine those with your simple storage system. Uh, filing cabinets are my favorite way, and I'm personally opinion the best way um, to run a simple storage network, um, and they're very easy to use once you get a hold of uh, iron in decent quantities. Uh, it's, it's a great way of combining your storage. Um, if you find the video helpful, please be sure to click like, and most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my tutorials and videos as they come out. Right, for this tutorial today, I am going to be um, using a smeltery and a simple storage uh, system. If you're not sure how to make and use a smeltery or how to build a simple storage system, I do have tutorials up for those on my channel already, and I'll link some of those at the end of this video. All right, so for a filing cabinet itself, all you're going to need is eight iron bars and a chest, and that will give you one filing cabinet. You're also going to need some filing folders. Filing folders are just five pieces of paper. You're going to need a whole mess of those. All right. So filing cabinets can be used in several different ways. We've got one right here. Now, to open a filing cabinet, to put in or take out any type of file folder, you do have to have your icon over an empty hand. If you have something in your hand, it will not open it. So to enter, to open filing folders, or just right click on it to open it or close it. No. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take some file folders, we're going to take a couple different miscellaneous items. So to make a filing cabinet work, you have to assign a folder to a specific item. So if you go into your crafting table, we're going to use an iron ingot here, you put that into your crafting table, and then put in one empty file folder, you're going to see that now it makes a filing folder, one iron ingot. It takes that there. Okay. Now, for files to work, it does have to be a stackable item. Not all stackable items will work in a, in a, a filing cabinet, um, so it's kind of a trial and error with the different mods to see which ones will work. Once you have the file folder that you're interested in, you just right-click on that in your filing cabinet, and then you can just right-click it to close it. And now you have a file folder that will do that. If you double-click on a filing cabinet, as you can see, the iron ingots that were in my inventory have gone away. And now, from the box at the top of my screen there, it'll say iron ingot 64. So right-clicking will take every item in your inventory that matches a corresponding folder in this filing cabinet and put it in the filing cabinet. Now to get a folder out, you just open it again, shift, right-click, and there you go. Now, folders themselves will hold an insane amount of items. They will stack up into the hundreds of thousands, if you will. Uh, so it's a great way of compressing, although a filing cabinet itself will only hold eight different folders. So that if you have, of course, if you're going to have more than eight items, you'll need multiple filing cabinets. Now, you can, when it comes to your saplings, use a bonsai pot with a hopper built in, the hopping bonsai pot, and if you assign a folder to each one of the things that a that individual sapling makes. So in this one you see iron, I use an iron sapling, so it'll make iron saplings, iron leaves, iron acorns, iron resins, sticks, and oak wood planks. Um, so by putting that in here, you'll see that as those drop, I did oak wood planks, that could be, it would actually be oak wood, not planks, my apologies. Um, but you put those folders in here, the bonsai pot will automatically drop those items into the folder and those will just stack up again into the hundreds of thousands. So it's a great way of just automating your hoppers without having to constantly open up a chest and take the stuff out again. Now, this will also work with different automated processes. So let's just say example, uh, example a smelter here. If you take your filing cabinet, and in this situation I've made a folder for steel ingots, because I have a whole mess of steel in my smelter. And I'm going to use an item extraction cable to my casting table. When I cast this and it hits 100%, it will automatically go into my filing cabinet. Now it shows steel ingots 5. We do that again. Hits 100%. Automatically removes steel ingot 6. So if you are automating your 
smeltery or different automated processes. It's a great way of just getting it to unload directly into a massive storage. Uh, again, if you have more than eight things in there, you may need more than one filing cabinet, but it's a great way of putting that through. So now that we have an idea how to use filing cabinets, see how they interact with an advanced, or sorry, with a simple storage network. So again, simple storage network, I've already got one set up here. I've got my storage network master, and I've got a storage request table. So when I right click on that, as you can see, there's nothing in my storage, but I've got a filing cabinet here and it's ready to go. So we're gonna go back over to our crafting table. And this one, I'm gonna use rotten flesh. We'll put one rotten flesh there and we'll use one empty folder. It gives me a file folder for rotten flesh. Now I go over here, right click on that, close it up. Now I have one rotten flesh in there. Now, if I go over here to my so search, now you can see that you have access to everything that is in that filing cabinet. And if you have additional items of that nature, just dropping them into your simple storage will move them into the corresponding filing cabinet for those items. Very easy to do. So you can just, when you come back from your excursions or adventures, you can just drop all the items in here and it'll put those into that filing cabinet. Now, of course, one filing cabinet's not gonna hold everything. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to do multiples. So in this situation, a little bit slightly different setup. So you can see I have multiple different items here, but no filing cabinets. And this chest that's connected is empty. So as you can see, I have multiple filing cabinets set up here. Now, the great thing about filing cabinets is you can put a sign on the front if you're OCD like me and like to organize things, and they still will open and close even with the sign on there. It will not inhibit them from being used. On the back of each filing cabinet, I have a storage link cable, which connects them all, and then I have storage cables connecting those up into, get up in there, up into the storage network master. So now when I come back and I drop any items that I need or any items that I have, it will go into the corresponding filing cabinet and I can do a search if I want to craft something automatically using the JEI and it will pull all the ingredients that I have to make the item in question. Oh, clear that. So the last thing is, Using storage links, like I said, not everything will go into a filing cabinet. Some things will not stack. So let's just say off the top, we get ourselves um, an Android torso. And let's just say this item will not go into a filing folder. What I've done here is on the side of my storage network master is I've put another storage link cable connecting it to a chest. The chest is empty. Now, when you right click on your storage link cable, you have the option to change the priority of that chest. It's always gonna start at zero and the smaller number goes first, which means um, the smaller the number means it, when you put something in your storage, if there are multiple filing cabinets or storage networks that hold the same items, it will go into whichever item, chest or filing folder has the lowest number. So I always move the chest up a little bit to a higher priority. And now when I put items into my filing, if it doesn't have a corresponding filing cabinet, it will move it into that chest. So I know that I either need to, if it is something that can go into a filing cabinet, then I can then go ahead and move it into that, or I can use just a, a you know massive s s chest storage system to hold things that don't go in there. Um, but even though it's in that chest, it's still accessible from your simple storage network. So I can still use any items in that chest crafting wise as well. So again, very, very simple, easy setup there. But using filing cabinets will give you a, uh, a massive amount of storage space and will allow you to automate a lot of that storage into and out of your advanced, uh, sorry, your simple uh, storage network. And I'll also allow you, as I said, with smelters and different automated processes to move your items in and out of those items as well so you don't have to constantly be unloading them. So a great way to automate that. Filing cabinets are a wonderful resource to have once you get access to a bunch of iron um, and paper for the filing folders. Um, takes a little bit of time to set up the folders at first for each new item you get, but once you've created the folder, the amount of storage space they provide is just massive. That is it for today's tutorial. 
Um, if you have any questions about this video or any of my tutorials, please be sure to um, put those down in the comments. Or if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, please be sure to put those down there as well. I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, that should do us for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.